Good morning. I don't know if it's morning or it's evening right now when you're watching, but uh, I like to welcome you to this channel because this is where we speak about different things which are affecting the society and also different business ideas, social media marketing, traveling, and much, much more. And today, uh, since of course there is a lot going on about the coronavirus which is happening, I will really really like to give you a few tips on how you can be able to survive in case of a coronavirus outbreak because the outbreak is there but of course in some places that it has not really reached as much but uh, there are different strategies of how you can survive and uh, try to help yourself in case there is a major outbreak in your region. So let's get started so number one you should avoid crowded areas now when i talk about crowded areas i mean in parties events uh, political uh, party uh, th those kind of bbi thing i'm, I'm not being uh, too much critical on them but it's a high time that you also uh, took care of your life because where there are crowds you never know who is affected or who is infected uh down there and whenever you're there and maybe celebrating, shaking hands with people. You never know, someone shouting might send some droplets on you and then something might happen. So just basically to be on the safe side, just avoid crowded areas. Number two, if you take daily medication, especially the older uh, people, uh, mostly they usually take um, these pills for blood pressure and wh whichever thing that if you take any uh, medication most probably I spoke this point because of the older generation who have to take a lot of medications left right and center and remember the older generation are much more affected because their immunity is lower by the coronavirus if you have checked the stats of the same it it shows that the younger generation at least the immunity is a little bit more higher but the older generation they need to be well taken care of so if they're taking any medication please kindly uh, have enough stock for them you can talk to your physician for the same uh, at least because in case any uh, quarantine erupts because you never know where and when and what may happen uh, there can be enough supply sometimes it, the, it, it's very difficult to go to a hospital to get some medication when there is a the, the people have been quarantined somewhere so it's very very important number three pre buy fever reducers uh, fever reducers like uh, brufen, we have of course um, things like diclofena. Just have a few fever reducers. This one may help you in case of an emergency. Sometimes it, it, things might happen. It may not really be the corona itself, but you may it you may have your place quarantined, like the whole of your estate or your region, and uh, it's much more hard to access some simple medications when i talk about uh, fever reducers i'm just basically meaning the general uh, medicines that you should have in the house fever reducers at least um, are the ones which can help you in different things malaria tabs and all that just have them but of course don't abuse them just have them in the house because anything might happen and you ha you'll have to call your physician or your doctor to give you instructions in a in a situation where you may not be able to go outside so the other thing is stock enough non-perishable foods in your home non-perishable foods this include um, cereals uh, maize beans uh, flour rice and all those kind of things make sure you have as many non-perishable foods as possible if you have a fridge you can even stock some perishable foods which can stay longer in the fridge just in case just in case it's always good to take precaution and be uh, ready in case of anything so if you have an maybe some extra money for yourself why do we work we work for situations like this you won't say you're just banking your money and banking your money and paying bills and all that, but your health comes first. So your security comes first. So try and stock some food in case of anything. Remember, uh, in 2007, 2008, post-election violence, during the time that people were inside their houses and they could not be able to access the shops, you can imagine how much things uh, were expensive that time even buying airtime uh, airtime worth 100 shillings you're buying about 150 shillings you could not even find cabbage you could not even find anything just the basic needs it was very difficult for you to find them so what about such a situation whereby maybe this quarantine or something happens 
it may be even much more difficult to find food and to find the general necessities. So that is very, very important. The other thing, number five, is uh, buy enough sick bed foods. Now, when I talk about sick bed foods, in case anything happens at home, in case maybe your relative or someone close to you, uh, they get infected and they are sick, or even if it's not coronavirus, let's put it in general, maybe uh, the, 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 there is a quarantine in your area and people are staying indoors and one of your friends gets uh, sick or family members, uh, it may be a little bit difficult for you to find the sick the sick bed foods. Now, I'm talking about chicken, I'm talking about vegetable broth, I'm talking about crackers, I'm talking about different things. And of course, um, hydrating drinks. This is very important. You may not find them in supermarkets at that time. So kindly just put them for any uh, emergency or anything which might come up. Number six is stock enough household cleansers and detergents and things like that. Uh, for example, bleach, we have jig, we have wet wipes, even alcohol saves a lot. I'm not talking about alcohol to drink, but I'm talking about the spirits and all that. They help to cleanse whenever there's an issue in uh, um, talking about cleaning and all that. So. Uh, the, the, the cleansers are very important because anyone might come outside from the house to go maybe buy something or, or do something outside there. and you need to clean over and over, clean the tables, clean the walls, clean uh, the sinks and everything with these detergents and cleansers because it's very important to keep yourself safe. Number seven, get yourself a face mask. Now face mask uh is also very important right now we have the chance of course you can go and get a face mask because nobody is uh, uh it's not expensive it is not hard to find them right now before any major thing happens but remember some things go out of supply when the need is there so you might see the time that people really really need the face mask they are out of stock you cannot be able to find them and this is the time that you just need to go and buy one or two or three or four just put them in your house it doesn't really mean that anything will occur but it's always good to be prepared in case of anything you don't have to go and queue on the lines looking for face masks the way i've seen in different countries they are really really trying to find face masks and the supply is so minimum all right number eight get a work from home job now that's where business comes in work from home if there's something you can be able to do from home maybe you're a graphic designer a video editor um you do things which do not really need you to have an office or maybe something dealing with editing or making tele uh telecalls and things like that kindly you can be able to try and work from home even if you're selling products let's say you're selling shoes you're selling clothes and all that and you use a facebook account uh, to to attract your customers why would you be going all the way to town center nowadays there are border border the motorbikes you can just talk to one of the guys for the motorbikes and have your stock inside the house and advertise advertise on facebook or instagram or wherever and whenever there's a somebody has requested for something they can just be sent uh, wherever they are using uh, the border border or whichever courier service that you can be able to offer because working from home will help you still make income and uh, don't go on a loss even if anything happens and uh, number nine, if you show early signs of sickness, if you show early signs of sickness, a fever, dry cough, and all that, kindly call your doctor. Do not visit. Why am I saying do not visit? Because it may uh, be... It may cause a lot of alarm or it may cause a lot of problems to other people uh, who might also be there in the hospital. Uh, kindly is good you have a number or two of a doctor because some, some of these things, as you go to the doctor, as you're getting through the reception, as you're talking to the people there in the hospital and things like that, you never know someone else might be uh, infected uh, during that process by the time you see the doctor even the doctor himself he may by the time they get to see exactly what's the problem they have also interacted with you so it's very important just don't go call your doctor tell him what you're feeling if you see some similar uh, symptoms and it is very very important you understand the coronavirus symptoms very very important understand them you may mistake them for any other sickness and maybe if you knew it a little bit higher uh, earlier 
it, you, you could have been saved from the whole situation. I've seen so many people recover from the coronavirus. All those 70,000, 90,000 people who have been affected by coronavirus, they are, they, they, not, not all of them are dead. There are several of them who have recovered and probably, who knows, a vaccine might come. And if you just leave yourself like that, you don't go to the hospital, you don't try to help yourself, who knows? You might die and the, the vaccine comes in the next week and you see, you'll have just wasted yourself. And uh, that, that's very important. Have a doctor's number and call whenever you have anything that you think uh, you may need to tell him or her. And the final point is wash your hands and face after going outdoors. All the time, wash your hands and your face. Your hands first, then you wash your face. Don't start with your face and then, no, wash your hands, disinfect your hands very well, and then you wash your face. Why am I saying this? Because if you do the other way around, you wash your face and then you might have sent, you, you might send bacteria because coronavirus is only, uh, goes through the mouth, uh, the nose and the eyes. So the moment you're washing your eyes first and you're hands maybe are dirty you might transfer the same so try and wash first your hands try to be clean and then wash your face that is very very important and in case somebody try to touch you or you touch yourself by mistake you don't transfer the same same germs uh, or the virus to to your body and maybe to get infected so i think with those 10 points you can be able to Safeguard yourself in case there is an outbreak and you can be able to help your family and friends. And if you like this video and you see it helpful and informative, kindly you can share it to somebody, you can share, you can like. Uh, just give it a thumbs up and as well we have a YouTube channel, Keith Mwoki, like you are seeing right now. Please just go there, subscribe and I'm sure there is so, so much more that you can learn and which can be of great help to you and your family and even in your business and the other things that we do. Today we just said, let's just go a little bit off the topic and enlighten people because this is something that we all need to know and we all need to be ready about. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a blessed time and see you in the other episode.